New York Yankees fans, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, all welcome to Now that I got my channel back from Hans Hansberger, I don't know, man. He's a German Yankee fan from Berlin or whatever. He paid me about $150 to advertise on his channel. He's a funny guy. If you're interested in his app, Dinner with the Yankees, obviously the Yankees are going around giving a whole bunch of people dinners for no apparent reason. Download his app. You can check out the video in the previous two videos on his channel. So, Yankees fans, do the Yankees have what it takes to finally win a World Series championship in 2019? In my opinion, and it could be a fact, the Yankees could have been back-to-back -back World Series champions if they made that move for Verlander. I don't know about you guys, but the Yankees analytical team, if they're giving the front office advice on the lines of, skip on on Verlander and go for Gray. Verlander is an old geezer. Gray is going to be a Cy Young Award winner with the Yankees. I mean, that's not good advice because I, for one, with NYNews.com, I was saying, what is this? You're passing up on Verlander for Sonny Gray, who's about 5'11", who isn't going to blow batters away. I could see why they liked Gray, but... That move alone cost the Yankees back-to-back -back titles, period. You could argue that Verlander didn't make the World Series with Astros last season, but the Astros were kind of in a, what you call, sophomore slump from their title. But if you ask me, the Yankees have the recipe to go all the way. The move they made for Paxton is kind of similar to what they could have done with Verlander. Obviously, Paxton is not a Verlander, but he's a flamethrower, and has potential to win a Cy Young. The 2017 Yankees had the recipe to win a World Series. Why? Many factors. Their DH wasn't clogged up. They were the underdog. They had youth. They had veteran leadership. And just that one move, acquiring Sonny Gray blew their chances because that allowed the Astros to scoop up Verlander and the rest is history. I think the Yankees could take it all the way this season, but they need to stay healthy. You guys don't like to hear this, but with that DH row being clogged up, there's not many alternatives to give your big bats a rest because you still need them in that lineup. The biggest question mark, in my opinion, is going to be Gary Sanchez. If he can maintain catching a full season, you guys all saw it. The Yankees wanted a trade for JT Romutu. The Yankees were attached to his name for a good two months. We all saw it. The Yankees attempted to trade for Romutu at one point, but the Marlins were asking for Andujar and Gary Sanchez. My opinion was trade for Romutu and have Gary Sanchez be your full-time DH. And yes, I know Romutu, Romuto, whatever. Yeah, I know. So, people are asking me, do I see the Yankees holding out on Trout, all these other big free agents, even Bryce Harper's rejecting offers of $300 million plus? I don't see it as Harper rejecting these offers because he doesn't want to play in these locations. I believe that he wants more than $300 million, maybe close to the $400 million mark, who knows? I just don't believe the Players Union at this point. They were whining and complaining about not getting paid, and that was just a ploy to have these guys make more money than they should be making because, like I said, in the NBA and even in the NFL, you have all these players interacting with fans online, a big social media presence, and their brands are huge, which helps their league. a -Rod, who's retired, has the recipe. He's not even playing baseball anymore, but he has a bigger brand than all of these so-called superstars in Major League Baseball. I mean, something is wrong right there. So no, I do not believe the Yankees are in on any big free agent for the time being. If anyone, if any name, it's going to be Nolan Arenado. The Yankees are in love with Nolan Arenado. If you follow this channel for quite some time now, I was the first one to talk about Nolan Arenado, the Yankees. I can see Nolan Arenado as a Yankee as, let's say, sooner than the trade deadline. Who knows if you get an extension with the Rockies. 
I hope he does not because obviously we do not have alternatives to Manny Machado now. And really, if you ask me, he's just as good or as better as Manny Machado. Now we're hearing about Miguel Landehorn working on his double clutching when he throws, which is going to play with his mind even more. I can see more errors. Hey, I'm not trying to be a Miguel Landehorn basher. He's excellent offensively, but he plays on the hot corner. You got to be defensively good there if you're going to play there, especially for a contending team like the New York Yankees. If Cashman, his plan was to get a whole bunch of Colorado Rockies players to attract Arenado for, let's say, a decent amount when he becomes a free agent, or if they extend him, etc., he has done his job. He has gotten Ottavino, LeMahieu, and Tolowiski. Obviously, that's the direction the Yankees are going. In my honest opinion, in my gut, they are going full throttle for Nolan Arenado. Who knows when, when it would happen, but the Yankees are in love with Nolan. Why not? He's a six-time Gold Glove Award winner, two-time Platinum winner, and he's been winning them ever since he's been a rookie. He's going to shatter records, maybe one of the best third basemen ever to play in Major League Baseball. Steroid-free, a leader in the clubhouse, plays with fire, and has carried his team to the playoffs on multiple occasions. I don't want to hear about the course field effect. The course field effect is not in play when you're playing defense in all of these stadiums. It doesn't come into play. Maybe you could make the argument offensively, but defensively you're playing everywhere. And to be honest, folks, with this Manny Machado thing, it would make my day if the Yankees at least, at least try to approach Nolan Arenado. You guys know it by now. Nolan is my favorite player in all of sports, period. So it's 2019 the year. Obviously, the Yankees could have been back-to-back -back World Series champions by now. But, again, I feel like the Yankees still need a missing piece to accomplish that. If it happens at the trade deadline, if it happens before. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you all next time. Before it hits the front page, and while